Hello students, how are you? Hope you all are healthy and safe at your home. I am Shweta Jain representing Shiv Jyoti Educational Group, Kota. Students, today we will study science and we will do the revision of chapter 2, safety and first aid and chapter 3, housing and clothing. So children, PDF for both these chapters has already been shared to you. I hope you all have gone through the PDF. Uh, video lectures and uh, completed your book work and copy work. So today we will revise both these chapters one by one. So let's start with chapter 2 safety and first aid. So students safety here means being careful. Okay now, now why do we need to be careful? We need to be careful to avoid injuries. Now for avoiding injuries or for being careful, we should have to follow some safety rules and these safety rules we have to follow everywhere. Like if we are at home, we are at a school, whenever we are walking on the road, we are playing on the playground, everywhere we should follow the safety rules. So now we will discuss some of these safety rules one by one. Okay, So let's come to safety at home. So students. If we talk about safety rules, they have to be followed at home, then at school also and not only school, we should also follow safety rules when we are walking on the road. So now at home, so whenever you are at home, you should not run in the ho home otherwise you may fall down you may bump into the furniture so do not run in the house then you should not play with pointed objects now what type of pointed objects like knives, scissors, blades, etc. Then you should not play with fire. And not only this, you should not touch electric switches and wires with wet hand. So these are some of the safety rules that you should follow at your home. You should not, you do not run in the house, do not play with pointed objects, do not play with fire and do not touch electric switches and wires with wet hands. Now we move to safety rules that has to be followed in school. So students, Whenever you are in school, the most important thing is that you always walk in a queue. Always stand in a queue. Then do not push each other. Whenever you are moving through the stairs, uh, if you are playing on the swings, everywhere you should not push each other whenever you are in school. Then do not climb on benches. You should not climb on benches. Okay. So these are some of the safety rules that you should follow when you are in school. Then we come to the safety rules that has to be followed when you are moving on a road. So the first and the very important thing is always walk on the footpath. Okay. Now students you might be knowing what is foot, footpath. It is the side lane. Okay. Along, along the sides of the main road a space is provided which is called as footpath and it is meant for the pedestrians. Now pedestrians here means the people who walk on the road. Okay. Then if you want to cross the road you should always cross the road through zebra crossing.
Now zebra crossing here means these are the white and black strips which you find on the road. They are generally present at the traffic signals, okay? And they are also meant for the pedestrians to cross the road. Now, if there is uh, no zebra crossing, then you should you can uh, cross the road through the subway or through the footbridge. Now, subway. Here means it is the tunnel which is uh, built across the road, uh, below the road, okay. And footbridge is a bridge which is uh, built over the road. It connects the two sides of the roads. So, this way you can follow some of the safety rules when you are on the road. And the most important thing is that you should not play on the road, okay. So, these are some of the safety rules that you should follow while you are at different places. Now students, we come to first aid. Now, the, this was about the safety rules. Now, but if somebody gets injured or if somebody gets hurt, then what you should do? You uh, need to help that person. So, the uh, first aid is defined as the immediate help given to an injured person. Okay, so it is the immediate help which is given to an injured person. Now, for giving first aid, again it is necessary that we should have some uh, things which are used to give first aid. So, there there is a box which is called as first aid box. Now this first aid box contains some things like now first aid box it should have some things like antiseptic. Now this antiseptic is It is a substance that kills the germs. Then there should be cotton in the first aid box. Besides cotton, there should be a band-aid or bandage. And this is used to cover the wound. Okay. So these are some of the things which should be present in a first aid box and by the help of these things you can give first aid to an injured person. Now there are some of the ways to give first aid in case of minor cuts and wounds. So there are some first aid tips for cuts and wounds. So these tips are first of all you should wash the cut or wound under running water so that dirt or dust can be removed from there. Then you should clean the wound gently and then you should apply an antiseptic lotion over there. Then you should uh, tie a bandage over it and finally relax the injured person. So in this way you can give first aid to a person who is having cut or minor wounds. So students this was the explanation of the this chapter now we will move to the book work and copy work of this chapter okay so all of you open your books page number 17 let's recall okay so here fill in the blanks are given with correct words and you can see in these uh, brackets two words are given and you have to choose one among them which is, uh, which is the most appropriate among them. Okay. So let's start. We dash follow safety rules to avoid injury should or should not. So should will come over here. So we are writing here should. We should follow safety rules to avoid injuries. Then we should not play with dash knives or toys. So here knives will come because we should not play with pointed objects and knife is a pointed object. Then we should be dash while walking on a wet floor. Careless or careful. So student we should always be careful to avoid injuries. So we will write here careful. We should always walk on a dash, zebra crossing or footpath. So here we will write footpath because it is meant for uh, walking on the road and zebra crossing is used to cross the road. Okay, Then we should cross the road at a zebra crossing or footpath. So here we come, we should cross the road at zebra crossing. 
Now we come to tick the correct answers. We should not touch electric switches with here. You have to put a tick mark. We, we have already done these exercises. So just we are revising them. We should not touch electric switches with dry hands, bare hands, wet hands or left hand. So here correct answer is wet hands because you can get an electric shock if you touch them with wet hands. We should always walk on the footpath, wall, road and terrace. So students, we should always walk on the footpath. Okay. Then the immediate help given to an injured person is called the first aid, last aid, safety aid or second aid. So here first aid is correct answer because it is the first and the immediate help which we give to an injured person. We should play with blade toys knife scissors so here blade knife and scissors these all are the pointed objects and we should not play with them so we should play with toys then we should follow safety rules at home school market all places so here at all the places we should follow safety rules to avoid injuries now we move to next that is true and false here we are writing t or F in the boxes given here. So let's start. We should give immediate help to an injured person. Yes, this is the correct statement. This help is called as first aid. Okay. On the road, there is no need to be careful. This is a false statement because there is a need to be careful everywhere at all, all the places. Okay. We should not crowd around an injured person. Again, this is a true statement, okay, because uh, the injured person may feel suffocated otherwise then. We should not push our friends on swings. Again, this is a correct statement because if you are pushing, then your friends may fall down and get hurt. Then we should get out of a moving bus. It is an incorrect statement because we should not get out of a moving bus. Then we come to next that is name the following. Here we have to write the names. Now any two things that you should not play with. You should not play with pointed objects. So we can write here knife and blade. Any one safety rule to be followed in the classroom. Do not climb on the benches. You may fall down and get hurt. Then two things which are used to clean a bleeding wound. Now these two things are antiseptic and another one is the cotton. Okay. So now let's have a look at this activity shown here. Match the children with the safety rules they need to follow. Now here it is given we should not push each other. So we have to match it with the fourth one you can see the picture over here this fourth picture here this boy is pushing the another boy so this has this should not be done okay then we should cross the road at zebra crossing now you can see here this boy is crossing the road at zebra crossing and it is safe for him to cross it at zebra crossing so it will be matched with the third one now we should not disturb the driver now you can see in the second picture that the child is disturbing the driver and it can cause accident so here we have a cross is put over here and this one is c is matched with this one this picture then here we should not run on the terrace again this is matched with this picture and a cross is put over here because if you are running on the terrace you can fall down so now let's move to the copy work so students first is define first aid here you have to write the definition of first aid so it is the immediate help given to an injured person is called first aid now we move to the next to define that is antiseptic now antiseptic is a substance that kills germs now students this is the substance which is used to kill the germs whenever there is an uh, cut wound or any type of injury antiseptic is applied okay now we move to question answers what are subways used for okay a subway is an underpass to walk under a road to reach the other side in the safety so it is a it is like a tunnel which is built across the two roads under the road okay and it is used to uh, cross the road 
whenever there is no zebra crossing okay so now we move to the next question list two safety rules you must follow at home so students be careful while walking on the wet floor of bathroom because if you do not follow this rule you can slip or flip down into the uh, bathroom floor onto the bathroom floor okay then do not play with sharp objects like knives blades etc now we move to next question write any two safety rules to be followed on the road so whenever we are on the road we should not play on the road so do not play on the road second always walk on the footpath so these are some of the safety rules that has to be followed while you are walking on the road so students this was about the revision of chapter 2 now we move to the revision of chapter 3 so all of you open your books page number 22 chapter 3 housing and clothing okay so students we know that the three most important things that we need to live are clothing housing and food we have already discussed a lot about food so here we will discuss about about housing and clothing so house provide us a shelter house keep us safe from heat cold rain wind and wild animals so it is very important to have a clean and good house because clean house keep us safe also okay so how you can keep a uh, house good and clean or uh, if uh, now we'll discuss that what are the different qualities of a good house okay so so students if we talk about a good house then it should have some qualities now these are a good house should have doors and windows now these doors and windows are necessary to let in fresh air and sunlight in adequate quantities so doors and windows should be there secondly a good house should have open spaces like verandas bal balconies okay then again uh, verandas balconies they allow fresh air to come inside the house then the windows should be covered with wire mesh and this wire mesh it protects the entry of mosquitoes inside the house it prevents the entry of mosquitoes and flies inside the house then besides this a good house should be neat and clean then only the people living over there they will remain healthy okay so besides this it should have a proper drainage system now why this drainage system is required it is required to remove the dirty water out of the house okay so these are some of the qualities of a good house now we move to the next topic that is how to keep the house clean okay we have discussed about qualities of good and clean house now how to keep a house clean so to keep a house clean we should follow some steps regularly first of all a house should be swept and mopped daily okay and whenever we are mopping the house mopping the floors we can use phenyl which is a disinfectant phenyl is a type of thing which kills the germs then besides this garbage should be thrown into the dust bins then uh, toilets and wash basins they need to be cleaned every day okay so these are some of the ways how you can keep your house clean now we move to the next topic that is clothes and fiber so students this was about the house 
housing now we move to clothes because it is also one of the basic necessity of our life clothes so now students clothes are made up of thin fibers okay thin thread like a structure these threads are called as fibers now these fibers are divided in two categories okay so clothes are made up of two types of fibers now first of all it is again important to know that just like house clothes also protect us from several things like heat cold rain and uh, insect bites okay then clothes are made up of two types of fibers these are natural fibers and second is man made fibers okay so natural fibers are the fibers so these are man made fibers okay so now let's come to natural fibers now natural fibers are those fibers which are obtained naturally either from plants or from animals now again we can divide them as plant fibers and second category is animal fibers plant fibers are those which are obtained from the plants and some of the examples are cotton which is obtained from cotton plant then jute which is obtained from jute plant okay and some of the examples of animal fiber are wool which is obtained from sheep and silk which is obtained from silk worm okay so these are the natural fibers now let's move to the man made fibers man made fibers are the fibers which are made by men they are synthesized by men they are not obtained naturally so some of the examples are polyester nylon rayon so these are some of the examples of man made fibers so students this is about the different types of clothes and different types of materials used for clothing now on the basis of different types of materials which is used for clothing uh, we uh, use them in uh, for different seasons we use different types of clothing materials like if uh, in summer season we use light colored cotton clothes because they keep us cool okay in uh, winter season we use dark colored woolen clothes they keep us warm whenever there is rain we use rain uh, raincoat umbrella and gum boots they prevent us from getting wet in rain now at places where there is a snowfall people use clothes made up of fur okay so this was all about the explanation of this chapter so students now let's come to the book work of this chapter so again open your books page number 24 so we'll start from here okay it's on page number 22 let's discuss one activity first observe the pictures and tick the correct option to complete the statement it is a dash house now here kacha and pakka two options are given so you can see this is a hut and it is a kacha house so we'll put a tick mark over here it is made up of mud straw wood or steel brick or cement so this type of house is made up of straw so we will write here straw then this house it is a houseboat or bungalow now we can see that this is a bungalow houseboats are generally uh, there uh, on the water bodies okay then it is made up of bricks cement sand or mud and straw so here cement will come then you can see this picture it is an igloo or a caravan so it is an igloo and it is made up of sand or ice so here it is made up of ice okay so now we move to the next activity let's recall next uh, uh, exercise 
write T for true and F for false statement and you all know how you have to do it. You have to write T or F in the given boxes and these, this activity uh, you can see on page number 24. So before we start with true false let us uh, go for this also. Do you help your parents in keeping the house clean? So here we should always help our parents to keep our house clean. So here we will write yes. Do you keep things in their right place? Again yes. So let us start with true and false. We should keep our house neat and tidy. It is a correct statement. So we will write T over here because neat and tidy house keeps us healthy. Okay. We should throw garbage into wash basins. No, this is the wrong statement. So false will come over here. We should not throw garbage in wash basins. We should uh, throw them into the dustbin. We should keep things at their proper place. Is it true statement? Yes, this is a true statement. Then a house keep us safe from heat and cold. Again, it is a correct statement. Then a good house should not have doors and windows. Now this statement is a false statement because doors and windows are very necessary and they helps in the incoming of fresh air and sunlight. Now take the correct answers. Garbage should be thrown into kitchen, dustbin, cupboard, bathroom. So where we have to throw the garbage? into the dustbins. Okay. Wire nettings do not allow the entry of air, water, dust or mosquitoes. So wire nettings they are put around the windows and they prevent the entry of mosquitoes. Okay. Which of the following is not a natural fiber? Silk, cotton, wool or acrylic. So here acrylic will come because silk and wool are natural fibers obtained from animals. Cotton is a natural fiber obtained from plants. We get wool fibers from sheep, silkworm, cotton plants or cow. So wool fiber is obtained from sheep. Now we move to the next that is fill-ups. Clothes protect us from dash bites. So clothes protect us from insect or lion bite, insect bite. We get cotton fibers from cotton or jute plants. So we get it from cotton plants. Okay. Drains of kitchen and bathroom should be well dashed, uncovered or covered. So they should always be covered. Okay. Then rooms in a house should be dash, well lit or dark. So here well lit. There should be proper light over there in the rooms. At places where it dash, people wear clothes made of fur, rains or snows. So where it is snows, people wear clothes made of fur because it is very warm. Okay. Then name the following two things that are used to keep a house clean. So answer is phenyl and mop. Then kind of clothes you wear in summer season, light colored cotton clothes as they keep us cool in summers. Okay. Two plant fibers are cotton and jute. Both are obtained from plants. Now we move to our copy work. So let us start with the define. Natural fibers. Fibers obtained from plants and animals and examples are cotton and wool. Okay. Now man-made fibers. These are the fibers that are made by man. For example, nylon and rayon. Okay. Now we move to next that is question answers. Why do we wear clothes? No. Clothes cover our body and protect us from heat, cold and rain. That is why we need to wear clothes and not only this they also protect us from insect bites. Okay. Why do we need a house? We need a house to live in. So this is the most important thing that we need to live inside the house. It keeps us safe from heat, cold and rain. Heat, cold and rain. Now write down any two qualities of a good house. A good house should have doors and windows to let in fresh air and sunlight. Then proper and well planned drainage system and this is required to remove the dirty water away from the house. So students this was all about the 
a copy work and book work of this chapter 3 you all have understood the revision well watch the video and if you have not completed then complete your work okay so till then stay home stay safe thank you have a nice day